Hey, it's your girl Chav, and today I'm coming at you with a tutorial, a review of a first impressions on the Anastasia Belvin Hills subculture palettes. And we got two cameras. We got this camera and that camera and this camera and that camera. Number one, number two. Number one, number two. <laughs> We profession. So this palette features 14 shades, 11 ultra mattes, and three metallic shimmer shadows. So these feature grungy, underground, whatever the heck they said on the website shadows, okay? All I know is that when I saw the palette at first, I was like, mm, I don't think my body's ready for it. I'm kind of bored. I mean, me, I like them warm shades and stuff. But when the controversy came up, that's when I was like, let's go buy it and check it out so like everybody's talking on youtube and they saying like girl they got some fallout my eyeshadow i can't blend it i've been using my morphe my mac my sigma brushes they ain't working my eyeshadows oxidizing like i thought foundations only do that but eyeshadows hmm 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 i don't know i have not opened this palette yet at all uh, it's still in the box. Actually, I lied. I opened it once, but that was just to look at it and also to see if the eyeshadow is broke or not because apparently they're soft pressed. So yeah, we are going to be testing this out. I'm not gonna lie, I did watch some reviews on this palette and from the knowledge there, not you know buying this palette right as it came out the gate or whatever, I'm gonna be reviewing after the fact that I've seen all of the tutorials and the reviews on other people, especially the one from Alyssa Ashley. That was the first YouTuber I watched and then I watched tons after that. And she had a really negative experience with the palette. So I'm like, hmm. Also, hashtag not spons, okay? I bought this with my own money. Bring the hashtags on. Hashtag not spons, hashtag I bought this with my own money, hashtag love wins. We ain't even talking about that right now, but you know, it always wins. So maybe it will work for me, maybe it will work for you. We don't know. But if you wanna find out, then let's get started. All right, so here's the palette that we have right here. It's giving me PTSD. <laughs> it's giving me, um, you know, it's reminiscent of the modern renaissance, which I'll bring right over here. This is, this is the modern renaissance, the sister palette. And then this right here is the subculture. I have not taken it out of the packaging yet well i did i lied i took it out one time but that was because i wanted to see if it was broken because it was soft pressed so we're gonna open it up right now <sighs> my body's ready okay so we're gonna take it out yeah so oh i don't need that anyway so here's the palette here it's velvety so i'm bring back her again so it's here is the modern renaissance and then here is the subculture palette right here um i love the aesthetic i love the like teal blue with the with the i guess yellow whatever you want to call it it's the just chap color what it's the just it's the just chap color insert just chap on here it's like no anyway so um what i'm seeing is a little bit of a difference in the logo now this i did buy long time ago but um i mean for the most part it's still anastasia she got her little a's fleeky a's or whatever all right so we're gonna step her to the side because she had her moment now it's her sister's turn so here is the palette here so we're gonna open it up and here we have all the colors i'm gonna just put this to the side there so this is all the colors here so we have one two and then cube right here is three uh, metallic shadows and then the rest here are all mattes so I like how the colors are kind of like mixed up I don't like them like orderly that's a lie uh, my z palettes are all orderly or whatever but like these colors are pretty cool so what I'm gonna do first before I even apply it on my face I'm gonna take the brush here and just to check the fallout really quick I'm gonna tap into some of the colors that I've seen in videos that have given like fallout like major fallout and i'm going to tap three times and then i'm going to keep using this brush here and what i'm going to do is go into my color switch so i don't mess up 
the palette or the colors or anything and just continue to dip. So first, I'm going to start out with Roxy here. So I'm going to tap in three times. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, so that's like a ton of fallout here. Um, this is more than uh, what a usual palette is supposed to give off, but like that pigment dough, that pigment dough, that is insane. Like none of my eyeshadows do that. Not Makeup Geek, not anything else. So that's pretty crazy here. So we're gonna go in to the color switch and I'm just gonna swirl it around. So there's no product on there anymore. So we're gonna go into another color. So we're gonna do Axis right here. And this is like a blue kind of teal color, deep teal. So we're gonna do again, three taps. One, two, three. So that one I think was even worse, but let's apply it onto the hand here. This one's a little patchy. No, it's okay. It's, it's the same consistency, but like, look at that pigment. It is crazy pigment, but it's definitely lots of fallout. So that's pretty darn crazy. Last color I'm going to try really quick. <sighs> Let me just blow it out because it's giving me like crazy. <sighs> it's driving me nuts seeing all this fallout. We're going to do new wave. So I'm going to tap three times again. One, two, three. So this one wasn't as bad. Now let's swatch it on here. So yeah, full pigment. Man, these are just like loose pigments pressed. So there's the test. Now what I'm going to also do is just try one of the shimmer eyeshadows. I'm going to just do a Dorn because that's calling my name right now. And I'm going to use this side of the brush and I'm going to tap in there and see if it does any fallout or anything. Apparently they're not as pigmented as Norvina from Anastasia has been saying they are or whatever. It's not popping or ultra bright or whatever. So we're going to tap into it three times, check out the fallout and then also apply it on the skin. And also just want to mention, I don't have any primer on my hand. So let's tap. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. No fallout. Look at the brush here. There's a ton of product on there, but let's put it on the hand. Yeah, not a whole lot coming out. So usually what I like to do anyways is wet my brush and apply a metallic eyeshadow. So honestly, regardless of that, I'm going to apply it wet just because I would do that with any normal eyeshadow. So I'm just going to run this through my color switch here. All right, so now we're going to get started with the tutorial. All right, so I have my full face on already. I have not primed my eyes though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prime two separate times. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral on the other eye. And the reason why is because I just want to test it. A lot of people use this, and a lot of people use this to prime the eyes. Um, I also use these to prime the eyes too so you know it ain't it ain't out in the ordinary or whatever um also i already did prime my eyes too with the rocks behind the scenes eye primer prior to this whole thing because i prime my eyebrows so i'm gonna start off with the soft ochre paint pot on this eye right here my left eye and i'm gonna apply it with the bare essentials max coverage concealer i'm just gonna dip in because this is my own i'm gonna cut the eyebrow shape it underneath and i'm gonna blend it down to my lid so let's do it then i'm gonna take my sephora brush here has no number or anything on it but i got it in a set <laughs> and i'm just gonna blend it out So I don't want this thing to move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it with my elf powder right here. This is my baby girl, y'all already know. I'm gonna set the lid up to the brow bone. And reason why we do this is because this is full pigment, we don't want the eyeshadows to grab onto any moisture on the lid. We want this to be completely dry so that we can easily blend it. And we can also get the right amount and even pigmentation on the lid. All right, so that's one eye primed. Now we're gonna prime the other eye. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand. 
and I'm gonna take another concealer brush because we are not going to cross contaminate. And right here, this is just another BH Cosmetics brush that I got in a set a long time ago, but it's still hella good, so we gonna use it. So again, we're gonna cut the brow and then cover the whole lid with it. And again with a brush, blend it out. Same brush on the other side. We're gonna take the elf powder and set it. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. Oh man, I am scared. All right, so we did the test with, you know, tapping it in, but what I wanna do is actually apply it knowing the information that I know now from the reviews and for actually real life testing it myself. So instead of tapping in three times, I'm just gonna tap in one time. Also, I'm gonna tap off any excess of powder on it and make sure that, you know, I do the best that I can with the knowledge that I know from everything. So let's do this. First, I'm gonna take my Morphe M433. It's like a MAC 217 brush, whatever. It's not the softest brush or anything. It is not a synthetic brush, so it is tiny bit scratchy. So it might kick up, it may not. We all gonna try. I'm gonna go in with New Wave and I'm gonna tap just one time. See that fold out? But I'm gonna tap off the excess of and we're gonna apply this onto our crease. All right, so I'm glad that I did that because some product did get on the brush, but not a whole lot. There's your trick right there. There you go, see? And just blend windshield wiper motions. So far, so good. New Wave is such a beautiful color. In the pan, it looks kind of orange, like a light orange, but then it comes off a little deeper because it's so pigmented. And you know what, honestly, I'm not mad at it. It's so pretty. Let's do one on the other eye. Now I just want to note that I did have a hard time kind of blending it right here because I dipped into the pan twice and I did that on purpose just to see if I would have a little bit of difficulty. It's not too bad, but honestly, just dip one time, tap it off, and go in. And I think it would be fun. All right, so this eyeshadow is done. We're going to go in next with all star and i know this color right here was giving everybody trouble we gonna try it anyways so i'm gonna be using a soft little brush here this is from real techniques and this is the base shadow brush remember to tap in one time now what i've heard is that this color goes gray especially when you mix this color new wave together because they're complementary colors so they kind of negate themselves so we're gonna see what happens that same area where we applied new wave i'm gonna apply it just on the outer corner here so i didn't apply too much so far it's okay it's going again so the color is looking pretty okay. It is a little more muted than I want it to be. In the pan, it's a nice like burgundy color, burgundy like purple color. But on here, it is going on a little muted, but um, I'm not hating it. It is purple. So I'm just kind of feathering it out here. I don't see anything oxidizing. So I think what I want to do is like a halo eye. So I'm putting a little bit here and I'm also going to do a little bit here in the inner corner. And I like how I got to apply the eyeshadow here and I didn't have to dip back in and I just went on the inner corner and if there was still product on there. So that's pretty darn good. Uh, I did apply All Star on the outer and inner corner here and I'm just kind of feathering it out. And then I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we use New Wave, not adding any additional product and I'm just going to blend it out. Yeah, I don't see it turning gray at all, which is fine with me. I did not apply any gray eyeshadow, so. <laughs> okay. All right, so do the same to the other eye. As far as the bases go, I'm not experiencing any differences with them. They are holding up nicely. All right, so it should look like you got punched in the eye. And if it looks like this, then you're doing it right. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M421 and I'm gonna take some Smashbox Primer Water and I'm gonna spray my brush 
and I'm going to dip into Cube, which is a duo chrome. So it looks white in the pan, but apparently it's supposed to come out pink. And like I said, I'll wet my brush regardless of whether it's this palette or any palette if I'm going in with a metallic because I really want my metallic to pop and I have not seen any yet that have popped or whatever. So I'm not gonna treat this palette any differently with the metallics. So I'm just applying it to the center of the lid here. And it, this color is pretty, but it's not wowing me. I mean, it reminds me of the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, the color, but it's starting to kind of like bunch up here. I mean, it's not terrible. Like that's what happens when you apply too much and maybe I've dipped into it a little too much. Yeah, this color isn't quite what I wanted. I'm gonna try to dip in with a dry brush and see what happens. I'm just gonna dip in and just apply it. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's just not as popping as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. The more and more you layer it on, I think the better it gets, especially when it starts to touch the all-star color. I feel like that's where you start to see the pink reflection a bit more. So like the center of the lid looks a little bit brighter, but then right on the edge, I don't know if you could see it, but it starts to get a little more pink shifty and purple. So. I really like that. So I try to do it dry on the other eye without going in wet and I don't like it. So we're gonna go back in with the wet brush. So the trick is to go in wet, then go in dry and pack it on. I am feeling this. I am feeling this indeed. I feel that the new wave color is like gone. So we're gonna bring her back. So dip one time, tap her off, and then go in. I don't see the eyeshadows oxidizing at all whatsoever. I feel like they have stayed their color from the very beginning. I'm gonna keep saying it's fine with me. It is fine with me because I don't see any issues. I mean, I know for the people that have bought the palette right in the very beginning, yeah, there's gonna be issues, but learn from your mistakes is what I feel. So I'm gonna make this even deeper and actually instead of going in with Rowdy, uh, I don't I don't feel like going in with Rowdy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back into All Star and maybe layer it. No, I did dip two times, so I'm just gonna tap off. And I'm just gonna tap it in and then bring it up a little bit here. All right, so this is the top of the lid here. Now, I wanna do something a little different. I'm gonna actually go in with electric and I'm gonna take her in the inner corner and I'm gonna use it dry. I'm gonna go in with this no name brush, don't know where the heck it's from, and then we're gonna apply this on the inner corner. Okay, I like what it's doing. Give me some duochrome goodness here. Wouldn't really pair this off, but I'm trying to use as much colors from the palette as possible on this eye look here. So I'm just dipping into her like regular. She's a she now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, the shimmer eyeshadows are nothing special, but I mean, they are pretty. I would love to do a look with this and some of the, the greens and blues and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna line the bottom with All Star and then smoke it out with New Wave. And I'm using a Sephora brush. Dip one time and go in. I'm gonna go back into Cube and I'm just going to take it and apply it to the brow bone, dry. Cool. All right, so the eye look is almost complete. All I'm gonna do now is just curl my lashes up to Jesus and apply some mascara. Oh, and I'm also gonna put on some lashes too because you know, mama can't have a makeup look, but not have lashes. Like, we don't do that here. Not in Chab's corner. Not in Chab's corner. All right, so let's do it. So 
that's the final look right here. We got our halo eye with a little bit of warmth from New Wave. We got some purple, we got some pink, and we got this electric green, yellow, whatever you want to call it. What do I have to say about this palette? I, I like it, but this is after watching tons and tons of tutorials. I've seen people break the palette apart. I've seen people having like insane fallout. This palette, you definitely have to do your research before actually diving in. And that's what I do with every single product I buy. I don't just, you know, dive right in. Oh, it's new. Let me go buy it right now. I'm like, mm, let's, let's check the waters. Let's see if they're clear. You know, do we have some issues? Is it high tide, low tide? We need to find out about this stuff. And definitely to the people who bought it right away, play around with the palette. I think that, you know, you have to kind of learn from your mistakes. If you're seeing everybody getting crazy fallout, maybe just, you know, tap her a little bit. Just say, Hey girl, what's up? Don't give her a bear hug right away. She don't need Need that okay you just you know take your brush just dip tap hey girl what's up oh you good you blending out right you fitting in great love you girl this palette is definitely not for beginners even if you go into it saying oh you know hey uh here are some issues with this palette, you know, I get it, let's do it. If you're a makeup artist, if you're a makeup enthusiast, if you've done makeup forever, then this palette should be fine for you. But, you know, beginners, I would probably stay away, maybe get another palette, maybe some dupes. Uh, you definitely could get dupes with these colors and stuff, so. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I like this palette. It's a good palette. Thanks, guys. <laughs> If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias down below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, I'm there too. And you know what? You're going to see me when I'm filming and stuff because I'll be snapping. I'll be like, hey, I'm about to film a video. Hey, I'm about to film. You're going to see me. You're going to see behind the scenes. Why not? Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or what you would like to see next. As always, thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah